Now I'm going to show you a method of lab draw called the push-pull method that eliminates the need to waste any blood. So we've got our setup here. And before we start, make sure you stop your pump if you have continuous fluids running. So I'm going to do that. And clamp your tubing. And note that we're using the proximal lumen that, for any continuous fluids. That way we have the distal available for lab draws or IV push medication. So first I'm going to start by preparing my supplies. And make sure with your transfer device that you are keeping the tip sterile. This particular one has a cap on it. Sometimes I like to just nestle that in the packaging. Now I'll put my gloves on. And put on my optional eyewear. Now make sure that you have your tubing clamped to your continuous infusion and your pump is stopped. Take your alcohol swab. You're going to vigorously scrub the hub for 10 to 15 seconds. Now using one syringe of saline, we're going to flush all 10 mils into the line. And then you're going to pull back and get four to six mils of blood return. And then in a fluid motion, you're going to push that in again and pull back four to six mils. You'll do this three to five times. Five is the recommendation. Make sure not to use the push-pause method when you're doing this. Now that I've got my appropriate volume of blood for my tubes, I'm going to unhook this. And I like to put my saline on right away so I don't have to re-scrub the hub. And just give it a little flush to immediately clear the line. Then I'll put my syringe on my transfer device. And remembering order of draw per manufacturer's recommendations, we're going to fill these tubes. And then make sure you do a gentle mix. Then I complete my flush. Make sure you use 20 cc's. And when you're flushing the line, definitely use the push-pause method to flush. And make sure that we're clamping in the last few mils and leaving some in the syringe. Now we can dispose of our garbage and make sure that your transfer device goes in the sharps container and your tubing gets labeled. Good job.